It's really important to pay attention to the cleaning products that you use in your home. Cleaning products can contribute to indoor pollution, which can introduce chemicals and toxins into your space, which can actually wind up in your body and you can wind up breathing them in. So you want to really use natural cleaning products. And what's really great is that a lot of these cleaning products are super easy to make. And if you make them yourself, then you'll end up saving a lot of money because some of the best ingredients are super inexpensive. If you looked under anybody's sink, you would see a whole host of different cleaning products, some of them pretty scary colors, and if you look at any ingredient list, probably a lot of scary chemicals and ingredients that you can't even pronounce. So we don't have to use any of those products. I'm gonna teach you to make a couple easy things today. And the first thing is going to be a very easy glass cleaner. It only requires three things. The first is vinegar, and you don't have to use a fancy vinegar at all. This is just one I picked up from CVS for you know, a dollar or something. And you save your money for the raw apple cider vinegar for the recipes that you're going to eat. <laughs> this can be super cheap, it works really well, it's a disinfectant. The second ingredient is going to be distilled water. Again, you can just pick it up at your drugstore for a couple of dollars. And the third ingredient is going to be an essential oil of your choice. Anything that you love the smell of to help balance the smell of the vinegar. So we're going to start with a cup and a half of vinegar. And pour this as the base, a cup and a half of vinegar. Next, you are going to pour in a cup and a half of distilled water. And now our third and last ingredient is some essential oil. I really like to use grapefruit. It just smells really clean and fresh and has antibacterial properties as well and it helps to really mask the vinegar smell. You know, maybe a teaspoonful or, you know, I don't always count, but maybe 20 or 30 drops or a little bit more. And then I mix it all together. And so as I'm mixing it, what I'm smelling is really the grapefruit coming through, but this is a great glass cleaner and it's super easy, super easy to use as well. So now you're just gonna take your mixture and pour it into a spray bottle. I have these spray bottles that I think I got at Home Depot, again, very inexpensively, and I just use them over and over again. So this all goes in here. As you can see, it makes you know, a pretty good amount, enough to clean glass for a while. And there's enough space at the top that periodically you can shake it if you like. And there you go, here's your glass cleaner, fantastic for Cleaning any glass surface, just spray some on, wipe it down with a microfiber cloth, and you're good to go. The second thing that I'm going to teach you how to make, and we can just leave that vinegar base in there, that's totally fine, is a counter cleaner. And this is only two ingredients. This is super easy. Again, very inexpensive. Our first ingredient is baking soda, which you can get you know, under $2. We're just gonna start with a quarter cup of the baking soda. And then you're just gonna pour, you don't have to use distilled water, you can just pour a quart of warm tap water on top. You can see it fizzing. <laughs> this has a lot, uh, baking soda has a lot of great antibacterial properties. So once you mix these two things together, you can just stir it up and it makes this sort of soapy looking mixture. You can just take your cleaning cloths and dip it right into the mixture and clean your surfaces. That's going to help just disinfect and cut through any dirt and grime and, and clean your counters without any type of chemicals. So another great thing to clean your stove and countertops are lemon rinds. You probably always have rinds around, hopefully, from your hot water with lemon and just using them in different recipes. I know I always have a lot of them. So you can just take them and literally just scrub them on your counters. They're especially great on stoves, but the lemon has great anti 
bacterial and disinfectant qualities. So they're just a great thing to keep around. So that's it. You have a super easy glass cleaner you can use, a counter cleaner, and a stove slash counter cleaner made from this beautifying food as well. So I hope this inspires you to ban your home of chemical filled cleaning products and try these really easy inexpensive cleaning products for yourself.